At the corner of Kipling and I-70 in Wheat Ridge, there's a collection of motels that people call home. This is a place we gotta be right now. We can afford it. Teresa and Mike Shatanov have been living in the best interstate inn for more than two years. Uh, my lungs are getting worse. My heart's getting worse. Health problems force this longtime Army veteran to live at the end of a tube. This one will pump up to six liters of oxygen in my system. They also live at the end of their means. And we ended up with a $37,000 bill, hospital bill that I'm still trying to pay off. Teresa works full time, but they still can't afford an apartment. And it's not just this hotel, it's a hotel across the highway, the hotel down the street, you know. All these people that rent are renting and they're kind of like stuck because this is the only place they can afford to rent. But this collection of motels has been a problem for Wheat Ridge police. Basically disturbances, assaults, thefts, you know, you, you name it, it's, there was a lot of, a lot of activity going on there. Jim Lorenz is division chief of patrol operations. If Wheat Ridge is like a house, Lorenz says this area is like a broken window, attracting drug activity and people who are homeless. If there's a broken window in the neighborhood and somebody doesn't fix it, then things can get worse. Then you see graffiti, then, then you see crime. To put it in perspective, last year, this town had 14,000 homes, 4,000 businesses, and nine hotels or motels. Lorenz says those nine locations were the source of 10% of all police calls for service, the most at Super 8, Motel 6, and the American Motel. That's taxing. That's taxing our resources. So the city council passed an ordinance requiring strict guidelines. They have to get a license to operate the hotel, and there are several criteria that they have to uh, agree to to maintain that license. First, clean things up and reduce the calls for service. Second, for motels who want to allow extended stays, they must meet a long list of requirements. I wash dishes in here and everything, so and then we store our food and stuff up here. Teresa and Mike say they have all they need. This is a water purifier. But the city says they must have a kitchen in their room and a business center, fitness area, and swimming pool on the property. I want to live a normal, comfortable life, civilian life. Lorenz believes improving living conditions will cut down on crime. If you fix things, um, like that broken window, then it looks like the people care in that neighborhood. They take better care of their, their property. The problem is motels don't want to make those changes, and they don't have to if they want to focus solely on short-term rentals. As of June 30th, we can't live here. So extended stay rentals like Teresa and Mike. I don't think they really care. Will be forced out. We're going to be living in a tent. <laughs> forced to live on the streets. I am worried because he's got all this medical equipment and if he doesn't have it, he's gonna die. They throw us back out on the street and say, sink or swim, baby. If I go there, I'm gonna die. I can't stay here. Where I go next, am I gonna die there too? The conundrum is, they don't they really want to be here, but they don't really want to leave. And we're not the ones causing a the problem. They feel like victims of the law. I think the city should kind of reconsider what they're actually doing to people like us. I, I understand it can be difficult. I understand some people have been there for years and years. We just discovered that there's a person living in a hotel for, for 19 years. The city will work with residents who are displaced to help them find housing through its Homeless Navigator program. Lorenz says the pain now justifies the end later. Change happens, and, and that is unfortunate sometimes, but sometimes it's also, sometimes it's good. Change comes with a cost. It's like they don't care if two more people are homeless on the street. They don't care if he's sick. In Wheat Ridge. I'll do what I have to do to survive. Nelson Garcia, 9 News.